the road guy or airport junction. It's open yet. Nah, it's up there, guys. That's the new bypass. I thought they had it open, but they do not have it open. So, guess <laughs> you guys won't be able to see it, but it is. This is the bypass. I honestly thought it was open. I am out and about, here to take care of some business here in town. I still don't have my car back, okay? It is what it is, but it ain't gonna stop no shit. This is Coastal Road. Coastal Road here in the Gambia. Alright. Again, this is not the turntable area. This is Coastal Road. Yeah, I think they're finished with it, but they're not letting anyone use it. All right, let me see which way we're going, and I'll let you guys know. I'll be back. Hello, bag family. I want to show you what we do on a regular day out here at Bag. Now, I can't really say this is a regular day because it's during rainy season. And during rainy season, it sort of changes the flow of everything. And you may or may not know. You okay, sweet mama? Yeah. You may or may not know. Uh, we're. Hi, babe. You got it? It wasn't. Oh, we're at a disadvantage uh, during this rainy season because all four of our vehicles are down. Yes, you heard me right. All four of our vehicles are down, so. What we do is when Sweet Juice and Mama want to go somewhere, we have a taxi, uh, a list of reliable taxis that'll come here and pick Sweet Juicy Mama up and take her to either Brokama, like she's going today to do something. My phone is on the whack again, my iPhone. So she's taking it in there to get the charging port fixed because, um, it um, won't allow me to charge, and if it don't won't allow me to charge, it affects our recording. And so anyway, uh, the taxi is up there, and he's going to take her to Brakama. And it's very, very unfortunate that we're without any of our four vehicles this rainy season. So what the guys are doing is this is our nursery. And what we're going to do with this one uh, is we're going to fence this off. Like in America, we're familiar with a ballpark and a chain link fence. We're going to chain link fence this right here and use this as a nursery because the soil is good. And if you can notice, it's not a whole lot of moisture here and stuff. So uh, it's elevated, so that's a good thing. It's like somehow when the um, um, grader came through here and created this little barrier right here, uh, it prevented the water from coming over here and stuff. So we'll look at that for future purposes too, to create more areas like this. But anyway, we're going to put a chain link fence around this right here. It's maybe like a... Mm, maybe a 20 meter by 20 meter, this little area right here and stuff. And so anyway, one of our newest workers said, Paul, call me Paul. He said, some of these plants are too close to each other. And I was inclined to agree with him, but these are miniature varieties of the cashew plants. So you can put more in here and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The miniature versions. So, uh, anyway, the guys are out here cutting. You yeah, you need it? Switch it around on the backside if it don't work. Since the lock is uh, in the rain, 
sometimes we have problems with the. Uh, Yeah, or switch that other one. Oh, the other one. I, I bought a new one. I I, this is still good. If it was still good, I wouldn't be coming to get a girl. Well, your son, he ain't got no strength in his wrist. He be using it for the wrong purposes. Well, we shouldn't have to do that. Whatever. Weak wrist. <laughs> Hold on. All right. So, so anyway, in here, you know, we got James. Uh, cutting and his younger brother Raheem, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> what you see in that, James? Snake? No, battery. Oh, I don't know how that got in here. Probably from the manure or something. Anyway, unfortunately, guys, this is the way we have to cut the grass, uh, here in the Gambia, but oh. Huh? Hey, who put this machete up here? Who? Who did it? You do that? Oh, okay, okay. What is that? A machete up there. I'm looking around. I'm like, who put that machete up there? Oh, okay. All right, I'll be back. All right, be safe, sweet mama. Definitely, I have to come back to you. Well, why is he coming right in so far? Back it up. Yeah. Want to come in too far and um. Yeah, he want to come in too far. Oh, tell him, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. What is he doing? This is what they have to do to get in bay. He could have went back farther. Oh my God, he's not going backwards. He did that eight times when he could have did it in four. Still doing it too. Oh well, he's out of here then, that's cool. That's what counts. All right, but uh, anyway, that's what's going on guys. Um, sometimes I feel a little anxi anxiety Hope I pronounced it right. Anxiety. Got it that time. Feel a little anxiety during rainy season because I'm like, you know, there's a lot more that I'd like to be doing on the land as far as developing profitability, but we can't. You know, we just got to be patient and Wait till we get out of rainy season and then uh, take it from there. So right now it's just um, maintaining uh, with an eye on explosive growth uh, after rainy season. This right there is a date. It doesn't seem like it's growing like the rest of the trees, but it's all good. And this right here is the uh, worst of this area right here, this little patch of uh, spot over here and over here too. But uh, some extra soil right there, take care of that, some extra soil. So anyway, this is what we got going on over here, guys. Uh, uh, sweet juice of mama. Planted some uh, tomatoes in her little makeshift uh, uh, greenhouse. And uh, those bad boys seem like they need to get in the dirt. So that's why we're clearing this out today. So we can put that in and stuff. All right. All right, let me get on out of here. That's what we got the guys doing. And to, to make stuff prepared for end of rainy season, one more full month, which is October, excuse me, which is September. And then October is a half month. So that's what the guys are doing on a daily basis, uh, cutting the grass and uh, 
um, preparing for end of rainy season. And let me show you what our prickly pear is now. This is exciting. We took these from San Yang about two, three years ago. And these bad boys are starting to bloom. My macadamia truck trees are struggling. You know, I, I think I had like 10 or 12, and that, now I'm down to like maybe three to five, but they're struggling. But let me get back to the prickly pears. Me and Sweet Juice and Mama and Rikita, we went to San Yang just to do some videos back in the day. And we saw these and we asked our group, what are they? They said prickly pears. So we ran on online and found out how expensive prickly pear juice is and stuff especially in america google it yourself you know yourself so anyway took us about three years to get to this point can you see the little cactuses well it's all a cactus but the little flowers those little bad boys are going to turn red and then you can get the the juice and uh it's very good you got to be careful around them now because um the thorns will stick you and um they say snakes like to hide around that. Oh my God, let me see if I can just get over here. See, you gotta constantly be vigilant is the word I'm gonna use. You gotta constantly be vigilant because when you look around, you'll see your tools. And the people are constantly asking me, oh, we need tools, we need tools. And look, it's hid over here in the brush. So anyway, let me get all over here. Anyway, yep, this is the second, I mean, third, one, two. Uh, plants that are producing the juice and that's what it looks like right there. The prickly pear, that's what it looks like and inside there. Is some of the sweetest juices that you ever taste, not too sweet and not too bland. And there's a lot of seeds one thing about this too, they say it's invasive. Once you start planting it, it'll just take over a certain area and uh, you gotta uh, control it and stuff. But I don't have a problem with that for now. As long as we're able to control it, uh, if it gets unbearable, then we're neutralizing. So we got uh, some of these basically on the mounds um, around the garden area because it's elevated and it won't, um, It won't suffocate or root rot from the water. Go ahead, go some more over here too. And like I say, we do got them on other miles. And uh, I ain't too satisfied with uh, our macadamias and stuff. Oh my God. Anyway, some more prickly pears. And a hodgepodge of stuff growing inside the neem. Hi, dog. I love you too. I love you too. All right. Had to uh, clear around the security house a little bit because the grass started growing a little bit out of control and we wanted to have guests or visitors, I mean, or workers access to the bathroom. So we had to clear this out. And I hope my gamble, I hope my gamble is correct that these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, these 12 or so trees will absorb all this excess water over here and stuff, okay? That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Because even though we got one full month left, this is the best that I've ever seen it. I've never seen uh, this small amount of water during the peak months and stuff. So that's a plus. We must be changing the landscapes for something good. So anyway. Come on around here. Clearing this out. Now, much to my dismay, they didn't get on this side. 
they should have, but you know, if you don't monitor progress, then it ain't gonna happen. So anyway, water coming from the village. Look at all these tadpoles. I wanna make a video where you can hear all the sounds at night what it sounds like at night. Uh, here are the crickets, the dogs, the bats, all that stuff. So anyway, let me get over here and show you what we're doing on a normal day out here at Bag during rainy season. That's what the guys are doing. And uh, I sort of look around the land for the direction that we want to go with bag and sort of let them know the work schedule or the projects, you know, prioritizing, saying, hey, this is what we got going today and this is what we got going this week, so on and so forth. So that's what the guys are doing. And the ladies, those that show up that don't have uh, someone sick in the family or uh, something else to attend to, um, they're picking up weeds from the garden and they're doing an awesome job too versus previous years it just accumulated and accumulated and then when we come out here after rainy season we jump start and said okay now let's get the weeds up but sometimes plants will be cut and things that are sort and then we have to start from scratch again here's an example of the invasive nature of the uh, prickly pears. How in the world it got over here, I don't have a clue, but more than likely the, a cow or something ate it and then it was in the manure. And so when we uh, used the manure to um, uh, fertilize and help our soil composition, it grew. So anyway, um, that's what goes on out here at Bag during rainy season, a normal day at Bag during rainy season. And if you can see over there, see if I can pull it in a little closer. Our sugar cane is booming. The stalks that had little suckers on the side or little babies, we've transferred them. And now you can see all that new green vegetation coming out of the head of them and stuff. So, Spec something um, outstanding out of that in the upcoming months and stuff. So talk to you guys later, family. Love y'all. Bye.